as an entrepreneur, as we build uh, uh, the industry, whichever industry it may be, uh, if you are building your own product, you get to make the rules. You can you can use guidelines, but you get to make the rules. And it, it took a it took a while, maybe a year into this, uh, that oh, I'm in charge here. If you've never been a CEO or founder or whatever, it's hard. It's it's hard letting go of the worker mentality that you were, you know, the the customer support support guy or marketing guy. Like you're in charge now. You make the rule. So that something like that still scares me, but still, but it excites me because one of the rules that I set up along the way is that I've met a bunch of independent writers. They they blog about podcast reviews. So yeah, you have the New York Times, Vulture.com, things like that, uh, the Times UK. They write, they have professional reviews. And I think I say professional reviews because they're in a big publication. It already gives them authority. These independent bloggers don't really have anybody advocating for them either. To me, I made the rule that if you write a consistent blog, a consist consistent review blog, it doesn't matter if it's once a month or once a week, but if you do it consistently, I will make you, I will label you a professional reviewer or a professional critic. There's a difference between reviewer and critic, but uh, a critic diving deep into the mm. nuance of a, of a podcast and reviewer saying you like it or not, but articulating why you, you should or shouldn't. But regardless, I will label you that in case you didn't, in case you didn't uh, think that you were. And I've met some really good writers uh, and we have like a small little slack group uh regarding that but uh uh and encourage them to write more because there needs to be more criticism the, the art of criticism is slightly dying uh depending on which article you read uh but uh i i, I love fostering that with the independent uh, writers and being able to give them this title that yes you are a professional critic or a reviewer and, and it helps encourage them but yeah letting go of like no you get to you get to make the rules. So for you, my advice to you in this regard is you own this podcast, right? You get to make the rules and how this is delivered, right? You don't have to listen to anybody else. Uh, you don't even have to listen to this advice. But, no, I uh, love it. I think but, it's great advice. But you are your, 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 the entrepreneur, right? You make the rules. I love that. If well, you start your own acting class or whatever, you get to make the rules. You're like, no, screw that Santa Monica class. This is the class. This is, I'm making the, the rules here. Learn from what they did, the guidelines there, you can iterate on that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's one of the things I'm most, I don't wanna say I'm most proud of, but I, I mean, it gives me confidence. I, I get confidence for uh, starting to think like that.